All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Evans Garage. Today I'm gonna to be doing a quick video on showing you how much amperage the starter motor and the grid heaters draw on our old first gens. So I picked up this um, uh, AC and DC clamp meter. So basically you just put this over top of a wire and in this case I'll, I'll put it over either the negative or the positive wire going to the starter um, or the negative wire uh, for the return from the grid heater. Uh, and I just, like I, I got this uh, off of Amazon and it was actually a pretty good deal. Um, it seems to be pretty good quality too actually i just wanted to test and see how much the grid heaters draw for amperage as well as the starter motor um, and this uh, ac and dc clamp meter goes all the way up to a thousand meters for um, ac and dc so we'll be able to get a nice uh, reading on how much amperage the starter motor draws as well as the grid heaters all right so i'm going to take my clamp meter set it to the amp setting um, we'll set it to a thousand for now because i think the starter draws more than 600 and then once it's on DC setting, DC, we zero it out, it's already zeroed, and then we'll stick it over, I'm gonna stick it over the uh, negative terminal of the battery, and then we'll see how much uh, the grid heaters draw, and then the starter. All right, I've got my clamp meter set to DC, and then max setting on a thousand amps. So I'll clip it over the negative terminal of the battery, and then it'll get my max amperage when I turn my grid heaters on. That's at 257. And then we'll do uh, the starter. That was max 676. Okay, so I've got the uh, clamp meter just clipped over one of the grids here uh, after the relay. So um, I'm going to see how much amperage uh, just one of the grids draws. So 117, 116 amps. And then back to zero. We'll try the other one. And again, 117 amps, 116 amps. All right, let's try them both again. Okay, and so I'm just uh, clamped over the uh, negative here at the end of the grid heaters. So that'll draw both. So in this case, I should see maybe 230 amps. All right, there we go, 230 amps. So that's a good sign uh, both my grid heaters are working there. All right, uh, I'm just gonna do one more test here um, with the, the uh, clamp meter not on uh, max uh, max setting, so it doesn't hold the max amperage, and I'll hit the starter and we'll see what it draws. Of course, I'm not gonna be able to come back and see it, um, but I'm gonna have to take a look in the video and see what it, uh, see what it goes to. All right, so that's a good way to test and see um, what the amperage uh, draw is on your grid heaters as well as your starter. Um, it's another good way to test and see if your grid heaters are working well or not, um, because if they're not working at all, they're not going to draw any amps. So the fact that the both grid heaters were drawing about 240 amps, um, including the rest of the system there, um, tells me that both those grid heaters are working uh, as designed and functional, as well as the starter motor. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching guys, and stay tuned for the next one.